You voted, and this morning we know a tax hike to fund Grand Rapids City Parks has passed. The tax is expected to raise about $4 million a year. The money will provide some much-needed improvements to the city's parks and also fund the swimming pools in the summer. Joining me now is the Executive Director of Friends of Grand Rapids Parks, Steve Faber. Thanks for joining us this morning. You're welcome. After a late night, I'm sure. You bet. Now, let's talk about this a little bit. I know it's been decades that some of these parks have seen upgrades. So how is this going to impact the city? Yeah, it's really uh, critical right now. Uh, about 90% of our neighborhood parks were graded about a C grade and w without an investment pretty quickly they were moving towards a D, which is really reserved for naturalized areas. And so this really stems the tide and lets us start uh, rebuilding a park system that, as he said, hasn't really had real investment for several decades. So the focus is going to be on safer and newer equipment. Right. Yeah, so about half of the, the millage that's coming in over the next seven years will really go to repairs and fixes. Uh, there'll be an ongoing commitment from the General Operating Fund to handle things like mowing and taking mm -hmm. out the trash and some of those basic maintenance things. So it's fixes and repairs, and then the three main large uh, municipal pools will be open for an extended season. It's been probably six or seven years since we've really known going into the summer that the pools would be open and so this just puts something to bed for our community that really since uh, well again for about five years it's always heading into June are the pools going to be open or are they not so that helps and then the remainder is really going to be used for some new capital improvement projects for instance this year the waiting pools weren't open at all in five city parks those dollars would really allow those to be replaced with splash pads, which are more sustainable. They don't take as much to maintain, and they're a lot more fun for kids. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of parents happy about that change. Yeah. Let's talk about some of the parks that are going to be affected mm -hmm. here. Yeah, really, it's every neighborhood uh, city park will see some impact, and there's 74 parks in the system, and so uh, there's a number of parks that will see it. But I think where people are going to really see the impact is on those neighborhood parks, um, and uh, and then also some of our bigger parks that everyone enjoys, like the Garfields and the Roosevelts and the Richmonds, and some of those that, as a community, we really cherish. Now, what is, when are these funds going to be available? When are we going to see these changes take place in yeah, our parks? Yeah, so uh, the money actually doesn't come in until July of next year, 2014, and so you'll start to see things work out probably next fall. Um, so we've got a little bit of uh, time before people uh, should get antsy that nothing's been done. Uh, but. You know, we're going to continue our efforts. We've been an amazing community uh, the last decade, really, to weather this storm. Parks were one of the first things that were cut around 2000 when revenue sh uh, sharing from the state mm -hmm. dried up. And so uh, the community has rallied. Um, through Friends of Grand Rapids Parks, we did about 10,000 volunteer hours last year in parks. Um, that's huge. And it's really helped us keep the system going during a time of unprecedented economic decline. And so um, really now we look forward to the future. We look forward to keeping the community engaged uh, and invested in these parks. Yeah, and a little bit of reassurance there with that money. For sure. Thank you for joining us. Thank we appreciate you. it.